If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey there, Magic Community. T1 Glistenrolf here, playing some Popper on the Untap Open League. This is, as far as I'm aware, my brew. I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with this idea, this overarching idea, but to implement this specific version, I think it's me. So this is a crop rotation infect list. And if you don't know what crop rotation is, it's this handy little card. So you have to sack a land as part of the casting cost, search your library for a land, and put it into play. So it feels like a two for one, but you have some utility cards. Now, this is Popper. We don't get Ink Moth Nexus, but we get uh, Mainboard Graveyard Hate. We get plus one plus one first strike, so a neat little combat trick. We get to put one of our creatures back, so not Ink Moth, but at least it gets us a cre gets us a creature. We have Sejiri Step for protection, and we have Teetering Peaks for plus two, plus oh, just for a last little bit of damage. And then 14 Snow Covered for us. Snow, because why not? And uh, there is actually a reason, but uh, no one's playing Thermokarst, I'm pretty sure. And then we have good old Glistener Elf, Blight Mama, the Regen one, Iker Claw Mirror, the, the big one, get our big boy out there, and then Rot Wolf, such a good Dogo, such a good girl. I like to think Rot Wolf's a girl. And then four Groundswell, four Mutagenic Growth, four Vines of Vastwood, two Apostles Bless him because we don't get Become Immense, and occasionally Artifacts will be a thing. Lotus Petal for a little bit of ramp so that it's not just turn one Glistener Elf. We'd ideally get a turn one Mamba or Iker Claw Mirror. And uh, Rancor as a four of, Seal of Strength as a four of, that's the level of pump spells we get. Yay! <laughs> there are some other choices. I think I'm right here, though. I think I'm okay. Sideboard options. We get Desert, Colony Garden, and Smothering Spires as our tutor choices. And we get four Nature's Claim, four Pulse of Marasa for Recursion, which will come in in this match, to take down to Ranger's Guile. This match is awful. This is an awful, this is an atrocious match for me. <laughs> this is uh, Boros Monarch? Uh, yeah, this is, I guess it's called Boros Monarch. It's, uh, it's fun. They, look at how much removal I have. Three Gal Blast, four Bolts, three Screds. Uh, that's not really removal, but it, it does blank pump spells, so I'll, I'll count that. Uh, Battle Screeches for Blockers, Rally the Peasants. <laughs> Yay! Prophetic Prism to make the colors you need. Astrolab. Yeah, that's a common. I missed that the first four times I read that. That's a common, folks. Uh, then we, of course, have our Artifact Lands, Ancient Den and Great Furnace, Snow Lands for Scred, and Windscarred Crag because sometimes you just need both colors. And it gains you a little bit of life, not that that matters here. Electricery is going to be a pain to deal with. Pyroblast, Relic, Ancient Grudge, Lone Missionary, Obsidian... Now, this one I actually don't recognize. Pro Black, Pro Black, okay, cool, not, not a thing. Ray of Revelation will deal with Rancor temporarily. That's, that's not a thing. So, the three Electricery are really what I'm worried about. And, uh, here we are. Hello. Here we are. Uh, so this hand is... F it's very... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really slow. So we have four lands, and, um, I, if we can go... Well, there's no way this Rot Wolf... I'm gonna say keep, because it looks better than going down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, mole. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll say that. Fair enough. Yeah, so this Rot Wolf on turn three is not going to live. There is approximately zero chance that this Rot Wolf lives. Uh, so I'm incentivized to play at turn four, but that is really slow. Turn four because I can hold up vines for it. If I can stick it on turn three, then we can give it plus one plus one, so it's a two two on its own. Three seven, nine, and it's still not enough. So this is not a great hand, but with the opponent mulliganing and me on the play, I think it's all right. So we're going to go, uh, just, hello, there we go, and then pass the turn. Now, I don't usually, video evidence of this, I don't usually play lands in front, but on untap I do, and this is the reason why. When I first double click a card, it goes up to the front. And because I'm lazy and don't want to move it back, because it doesn't really matter, I suppose, I just, Ooh, suddenly this hand looks really good. Suddenly. Suddenly. Hi, Glistener Elf. I'll say pass. And if the, if there's a response, it'll be EOT. Okay, nope, never mind, not a response. Uh, Scred for zero is not going to do it. 
<laughs> yeah, if that had been a snow-covered mountain... Oh, okay, okay, so we're just putting down pressure immediately. It's a 2-2, two -two, prowess, non-creature, gains lifelink. Cool! Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's not great. That's not great. But I think, I think it's alright in this case, and here's why. We're going to play this out. Hello? Hello? There we go. My computer is slow, I apologize. So we're gonna give you plus one, plus one, and first strike. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to play a Rancor and enchant it with Rancor. Now the opponent, this this is Popper, and I have the deck list anyway. Uh, you know, you see how many gut shots there are in this list? Jack. So we're not gonna we're not gonna have to worry about that. And so I would like to go to combat. Hey ya! I'm always a little bit worried since these buttons are right next to each other. I'm a little worried about misclicking. All right. We're going to say no effects when the time comes. Oh, we're blocking. Okay. Uh. First strike. Two to you. Like, that is... Are we expecting... Now, I run mutagenic growth, so maybe that's a concession to growth. Maybe that's a way of saying, I, I just don't want you to kill me this turn, because I'm going to start doing stuff next turn. Maybe. Um, it will give me uh, a little bit more to deal with later. O or it could just be the case that first strike was missed, but... I don't... I don't know. So my record in the league so far is not great. I'm 1-1. By the way, this is quite the snow-covered plains. Okay. Okay. Return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Fair enough. You just have a 2-3. I can live with that. Now this puts me in a bit of an awkward spot. Uh, I know what one of those cards is, obviously. Ooh, Seal of Strength. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind, we're fine, actually, we're fine. Swap these around real quick. Hello? Whoa. I don't know if OBS is capturing my mouse, but my mouse and the card were not on top of each other. They were doing this little number. So that's that's fun. A little trippy, honestly. A little bit trippy. Uh, we're going to go... Seal of Strength first. See if we can bait anything out. Alright. Response? With just one red mana open, if this works, we're good. We are in okay shape. There is a negative chance that this goes through. Alright, so let's do some math real quick. It's a 3-1 right now, because this wears off. 3-1, 6-1, 10-1. So we are going to... If This is 3, and they're at 2. So I can deal 10, but if, I do, if they block, I can't do lethal this turn. Um, 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. We're almost there. Still, we're okay. We're gonna go to combat. We're gonna swing. They're gonna block. I think. Yeah, okay, okay, that's a move. That's a move. Alright, um, we're going to... Yeah, okay, and we, we got the confirmation there. Target source, targeting Glistener Elf. Boop. It's a very technical magic term. Alright, in response, see what's going on. Galf Blast. Okay, so this is this is safe now. Hello? Oh my computer is so slow. Alright, so here's our handy little stack, folks. Uh geez, guess what I'm guess what I'm gonna target? Hello? Plus four, plus four. Once again, we're still not lethal, though. We're still not lethal, unfortunately. Uh, you see what's happening here, and I assume Buffer's done the math. So this is, uh, this is gone, baby gone. All right. Uh, it should be 10 minus three. Yay! Okay. Okay, we got there, folks. We got there. I'm expecting this Glistener Elf to die next turn. 
there is approximately a 0% chance that it lives. Because, uh, once again, Scred is a card, Galblast is a card, Bolt is a card. It'll be okay, we have a Rotwolf. We have a Rotwolf. Okay. Nani? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that was the stats. Yeah. 10 damage minus 3 for toughness. Yeah, you take 7. You counted correctly. We got there. We got there. It's alright. It happens. It happens. This is coffee. This is... Keep me awake juice. Mm. Now, on the extremely unlikely chance... Okay, so yep, yeah, there's another Seeker. Um... Let's see what we draw. Petal. Okay, so if they have anything that they can cast off of that Great Furnace, anything, then they don't die, because this will get a, a prowess trigger, and three power, three toughness. But they don't know that. <laughs> I mean, no, they do, they do, of course. It's their deck. All right. Response, I assume. Take one. Okay. Game two. All right, and in response. Okay, okay. <laughs> they did know that. Aha! Okay. I said this was a spectacularly bad matchup. It still is. We only saw one removal spell. This this looks like it must have been land and creature heavy, as best I can see. So we'll sideboard. I said, okay, we got there. <laughs> it took it a minute. And once again, looking at the opponent's deck, there are seven artifacts, and they're used for filtering. They just all say, draw a card, add one mana of any color. The mana from this, of course, will be snow. Uh, let's see. So as best I can tell, this is just a strictly better version. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, add one of any color and it filters in the same way. Yeah! Uh, well, I guess not strictly, because it's snow, but... Otherwise, yeah! <laughs> okay, 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 it's harder to cast, because you have to have snow to cast it, so never mind, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, Prism's more versatile. Anyway... <sighs> um... Let's see... So, Desert doesn't seem to do enough. Uh, this... Two, two, three, two, four. Does not actually do anything, so Desert's right out. Colony Garden, I don't have any sack effects to worry about. Um, Smoldering Spires... Um, it is a decently creature-heavy deck. Uh, Guile's coming in. <laughs> Pulse is coming in. And I don't think Nature's Claim gets to come in, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Now they do actually have, uh, wait a minute, not glint? Oh no, 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 this isn't running the, uh, the artifact bird thing that Metalcraft sometimes runs. Um, so given that, I have six cards to take, ah, ha, ha, six, six, six. Sixty-six out of six. So that's how it works. Blessing probably has to stay in. Just a little bit more protection for my creatures. A uh, crop rotation, I think... I think this is fine. It's not a counterspell matchup where crop rotation really does not shine. It really does not shine. Mutagenic growth is probably right out because we want to play a grindier game uh, against the removal heavy deck. Especially since uh, mutagenic is rarely going to save one of our creatures. It could against a non-metal crafted Galv Blast. That's about it. I think that a similar case can be made for Rancor, though the trample... Yeah, I... Uh, we're, we're going to take two Rancors out. Yeah, two Rancors. Guile, uh, Ranger's Guile will be a pump spell as well, and we'll have Pulse of Marasa for recursion. And this does slow us down pretty considerably, but I think that that's where I'm supposed to be in this match. So it has me shuffle automatically. And um, that is a one land, 
Glistener Elf, double crop rotation hand. So if this Glistener gets killed, I can crop rotate for a Mortuary Mire to get Glistener back, but then I won't have green mana to cast it. But on the draw, I think this is better than going to six, actually. So I'm going to keep it. Call me crazy, because I am, but I'm going to keep it. Uh... Oh, oh. Keep. Keep. <laughs> Cap. Johnny Cap over here. Ugh. Whatever happened to Johnny Depp? The last I heard, he was, like, pulling a Shia LaBeouf, but worse, wasn't he? Oh, mull. Okay, so this is how we win the matchup. We just rely on our opponent to mull. Rely on their mulling. Okay, I guess when you know you're up against Infect, this could be an aggressive mole for removal, which I would like in that position. Especially Electricery. Especially. Hmm. Alright. So keep. See where it's going, top or bottom. Please be bottom. Please be bottom. Ooh. <laughs> Oku. Okay, that was neat. Wait, wait. I didn't see what happened. Oh, okay. If it stays... If you don't see moved it down, I guess that means it stays. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, Astrolabe. Draw a, drew a card. Bleh. Bleh. I can't talk like now. Okay, that's not what we would like to see. And pass. T1 Glistener Elf. Again. <laughs> it's a superpower. Noise. <laughs> Noise. I don't even... Who is that guy? Okay, okay. We could be seeing some red mana, which is probably... Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have a second land, otherwise I would have been patient. Vines and Ranger Sky would have been nice there. Alright, let's see what we draw. Okay, that's fine. We can live with that. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> mouse, mouse why? Alright. Itchy nose, and go. Well, since I have to get the Mortuary Mire, that makes the vines a little bit less good, unfortunately. Um, yeah, what can you do? Ooh, Thraben Inspector. Let's see when they pass. When they pass, I'll say EOT. Aha! Sac. And see if we're good. Good. No response. All right. So we are going to find a card. M is for Mortuary Mire. Which goes right over here. And this is... My computer's being so slow. I, I swear, this isn't... Alright. Move it on top of the deck. This is basically a formality at this point. So I could just add it in my hand and not draw, but whatever. Alright, there we go. So, again though, there is a tiny little problem. I don't have double green. I still don't have double green. But we're going to try to get there. All right, and see if it lives. Thraven Inspector is decent in the matchup for the same reason that Death Right Shaman was good in Legacy against Infect, uh, which is to say it's a 1-2 body. <laughs> the rest didn't even have to matter, it's a 1-2 body. But it, of course in, in Legacy you had Noble Hierarch, just as you do, oh god, why? Well, that happens. Alright, well, let's go look at our list real quick. <gasps> oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't mess up. I mean, maybe I did, but not for the reason I thought. Not for the reason that I thought. Okay, well, there's only one more to Ray Meyer, so I can't pull that trick twice, unfortunately. Taking the one. I mean, any clock will do. Any clock will do. Glint Hawk. Uh, unless you return an artifact you control. 
Now, am I am I going crazy? Is there a um, is there an artifact hawk like that that uh, was played in Popper for a while? Okay, okay. Let me look again. So what I could oh you know what no it's fine it's fine but what I could have done. Instead of playing the Glistener Elf there, I had the second crop rotation. I could have waited till end of turn, crop rotate away the Mortuary Mire to get a second forest so that I could play Glistener Elf and have protection up for it. That's what I should have done. It's a little slow, but in this, it, given this, it would have been better had I done that. It absolutely would have been better. So, I... I done goofed. I done goofed. Done did goof. Hmm. Okay. Uh, new plan. The new plan is we put this in tapped. We pass turn. End of turn. Crop rotate away the mortuary mire. Get a forest. Upkeep. Play the pulse of Marasa. Get back mortuary mire. Play mortuary mire. Get back glistener elf on top. And don't do the same stupid thing again! <laughs> Alright. So, I should have I should have seen that line, um, but now I know. Now I know. The joys of gaining experience with a deck. This is why, this is one reason why specialist pilots tend to do better. Okay. Uh, upkeep. I don't know that that's strictly necessary. Alright, so let me make sure I do this correctly. Crop rotate away the Mortuary Mire, get a forest. Can I just do this end of... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Think, think through this again, Jay, just to make sure you're okay. Crop rotate away the Mortuary Mire, so green is tapped. You'll have green. And, uh... Crap. I should have done that end of... That was supposed to be end of turn. It's the Looming Spire that was tapped, not the forest. Pay attention, Jay. Pay attention. Okay, okay. Instead, we're just going to do the regular play. For now. We can pulse here, get Glistener Elf back. The problem with doing this is that if we just pulse, we aren't going to have double green up. So if you're thinking, well, Jay, why didn't you just do this in the first place? It's because of double green. Um, it's fine. We're going to do it. Jay, come on, come on. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I am at peace. There is a seal. I think I just got my wires crossed because of force of habit, even though I had gone through it before I moved over to my turn, often in an older format, like in Legacy or in Vintage, whatever, you will wait until your upkeep to do things like fetches so that you have the maximum amount of mana to fight, say, counter wars or things like Stifle. Um, one, two, three. Alright, you're not giving yourself much time, Jay. Hello? It's not strictly necessary to do it now. Oh my goodness, mouse. Why are you doing that? Don't do this to me. I heard the sound of Evangeline. 
hold priority. Um, supposed to. Oh well, I have to do. Oh no, it's part of the ex. It's part of the cost. Never mind. It actually doesn't matter. I'm not going to use the mana for anything, but I'm, I should have played that correctly. As part of the cost of casting the spell, sack the land. So whatever. Um, Never mind. So if I get another pulse, I can pulse Looming Spire. But right now I only have one creature. And I have plenty of pump spells anyway, so I think this makes more sense. Alright. This is going to resolve. This is Boros. Alright. Hello? What are you doing? Okay, at least it moved into play. I blame my computer for everything now. <laughs> Alright, well... What is... What? Okay, draw. Groundswell. Uh, we still can't yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to play out the seal. When this Glistener Elf comes out, it is going to be one big boy. Big boy. Okay, Jay, you've only messed up at least two big times this game. Alright. Prism. Oh, yeah, okay, so shake. There's a prowess, tri prowess counter. Prowess trigger. Yeah, the, thankfully the lifelink does not matter in this match. I'm gonna say, yup. Alright, we're gonna chug some... Don't mess up, Juice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a one, three? No, it's a two, two. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, I see. I see. Just five. They didn't attack with the Thraven Inspector after all. Okay, nope, we're good. We're good. We got there. All right. I guess. Um. I think that what I'm supposed to do is play both Glistener Elves here. And then pass the turn. One of them is going to die here. What's that? Ooh. That's, that's more or less what's expected. Both of them might die here. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a counter. Um, I'm gonna target this one. Alright, never mind, they're both going to die. Because, oh yeah, overloaded. Yeah, yeah, I figured that. <laughs> I figured the reason they're both going to die, there is no way they don't have something else. And look at their white removal. Uh, they don't really have white removal. They have this prevents damage. And um, I didn't see any in here. They have Battle Screech, not really removal. They have a nice little white pump spell, but that's it. But because they have red mana, and then the other is dead. Okay, I was expecting a response, but nope, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Leaving the Thraben Inspector back, right? Like, you're, you're going to it. Okay, yep, never mind. We got there. Okay. In a normal world, <laughs> just, just make all the misplays. That wasn't a strict misplay. Uh, what I was trying to do is, with two of them, the odds that they would be able to have enough to deal with both of them was not great, but I should have played around Electricery. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe is correct. Yeah, that's correct. Alright, well, we're not doing, we're not looking hot, folks. This needs to be a creature. It's not a creature. 
Game three. Yeah, that was a... That was quite a game. Buzz Lightyear won that one. I'm going to say he now just because of that. Buzz Lightyear. Now I know. I know who I'm playing against. It's Buzz. Okay, well, uh, that was... That was dumb. We're going to keep... It's a very technical term. Dumb. Okay. Mortuary Mire. Oh, you know what? You know what? It's too late now. Bajukabog does not do enough in this matchup. Uh, so Bajukabog can do something against... Ra uh, not Rally. Well, yeah, potentially Rally, but more so Battle Screech. It can deal with the flashback, but the flashback is tap, tap three untapped white creatures. The first time you cast it, it gets two of them out. So it's likely enough that they're going to have it anyway, that they're going to get the flashback through no matter what. It does matter for Rally, though. Even so, what I probably should probably should have done is switched it out for Smoldering Spires. Target creature can't block this turn. This is a deck with enough creatures that that doesn't necessarily matter, but in the event that they only have one creature, that theoretically could. So that was probably better than Bajuka Bog. So uh, that's probably a mistake. There's not enough that I'm getting out of the Bajuka Bog, uh, which we're about to see here. All right. Um, so we have, I think, to go... Right, we'll see if they're keep. We'll see if they'll keep. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I have to do it first. Keep. See if they're keep. You know what I'm trying to say. So things I can do here. I can go turn one Glistener Elf. If it dies, Mortuary Mire to put it back, but that creates a little bit of card disadvantage because I'm, I'm setting my next draw in a not necessarily correct way. I can also play a Seal first. If I play the seal, it represents perhaps that I don't have Mortuary Mire. I would not like to be in a spot where I'm having to make myself draw more Glistener Elves, when I would really like more green mana, or another creature just in case. So we're going to play out a seal. It's a little slow, but I think this is correct right now. I think that this is correct. Of course, I don't know. Uh, but the odds of this Glistener Elf dying on turn one are pretty high. Okay, there's a Windscarred Crag. That's fair. Let's see what we can draw. Good, good. Second green source. Perfect. Uh, now we go Glistener Elf and see if it lives. Pass the turn with a Seal and a Ranger's Guile. Surely! Surely! <laughs> we can do this. Also, the opponent kept seven. That's not great. Um, if I pop the seal, I can play a seal next turn. If I Ranger's Guile here, I think it's correct to Ranger's Guile, because if I draw another pump spell off the top, I just win the game. Well, not necessarily. If it's Vines of Vastwood, I don't. If it's a Groundswell, I just win the game. Um, seal, Seal, Pump Spell. I'm already having a, a... Oh, Giant Growth. Giant Growth would do it, too. Let's see if we can just cheese a win here really quickly. And now it's hexproof. Yeah, bad blossoming defense. Still get okay. Never mind. I don't actually get to cheese a win here. Um. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not great. Huh. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Say. Hmm. The longer this deck goes on, the harder things get. Giggy. Let's see. Let's uh, play another seal. Um, let's go to combat. Swing. Obvious block is obvious. Boop. Okay. Uh, pop it. Shake it. 
pop it, pop, 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 shake it. Alright, go to main two. The Jukabog. Target you. Yeah, okay, we got there. We got there. Never mind, <laughs> we're good. We got there, folks. And then I will pass the turn. Alright, so we have the seal, and just in case we have Apostle's Blessing. I don't know that if it was... It might have been correct to wait. It, look at all the creatures in the deck. Uh, white, 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 white. If I had held that Apostle's Blessing, and if I had found another pump spell, then I might have actually been able to Apostle's Blessing, and then just win the game in response. I have to be a little bit wary because... Uh, no, Prismatic Strands is a card, uh, and we don't see any in the sideboard, but it is a card. Um, so I do have to be careful about that. Of course, I'll be punished if this next card off the top is a pump spell. Of course I will. Don't you do it. Don't you, don't you crack that clue. Don't you do it. I know you want to. No, no, no. That's something you do end of turn anyway, unless you're desperately looking for a land. The deck can run off two lands, I would think. Um, I mean, we have Palace Sentinels. That's a thing, I guess. That could be their creature. Uh, also, Glint Hawk uh, does need an artifact, and right now there's no artifact, except the clue. So, um, oh, it's a Thraben Inspector, so there's another one. Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> Rancor, where you at? Where you at? Oh, crack a clue? No, a seeker. Ooh, okay. Well, this this won't work out, but it could. Let's see how the opponent plays or misplays. Um, let's go to combat. Hiya. And yes, by the way, this would be the victory turn if I had played that other line. Uh, because I could go Apostle's Blessing on white, Vines of Vastwood, Seal, Seal. Well, no, 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 because there was a bolt, so I had to pop a seal. Um, I, I would have either, yeah, I would have had to pop the seal anyway. So never mind. Um, well, it's unfortunate, but I think I'm going to use it up. Going to have to use it up. Alright. And then we will go to main two, not represent anything to our opponent, and pass the turn. And have some more some more of our I'm thinking juice. I so should have won that last game. Thinking juice. Coffee. Shout outs to coffee. Shout outs to mildly warm coffee. I've waited too long. Please just pop the clue. Is that what? We, yeah, that's what we did. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. They have more snow. He's got a snow. <laughs> you fools, we all have snow. <laughs> you idiots, we all have snow. Whatever the line is from Aladdin. Yeah. It's got a sword. You idiot, we've all got swords. Okay, Astrolabe, draw a card. Trigger, cool, you're not attacking. You better not. <laughs> uh, well, they're at zero. It's pretty unlikely that they're gonna die, so... I guess they, they could. Shouldn't, but they could. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. What are we doing? It. Okay, just draw another card. Draw a card. Well, I mean... Is there a card that would win the game for me? I mean, the opponent doesn't know that. Draw. There's a Rancor. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a little awkward here. I might have to pop the Apostle's Blessing early if I do that. Um, if I don't attack here, then I think I represent to my opponent 
and with with bright lights, I have a possible. Oh, 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 you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, so this is crazy, but hear me out. Attack gets blocked by Seeker of the Way, dies, Rancor goes to hand, Mortuary Mire, Glistener Elf goes on top of the deck. The next turn, Glistener Elf, Rancor, and I ha still have Apostle's Blessing up. Is that... is that wrong? It, it probably is. With that many cards in hand, it's probably wrong. Um, but it does get rid of the Seeker, which is a blocker. So I'm... I'm trading my draw step for a blocker, potentially. Um, in a situation where I'm gonna have to use a pump spell no matter what to get by this thing, or I'm gonna let the Glistener Elf die to get by it, ooh, I would not be good at MTGO because of that timer doing this, at least when I'm talking, when I'm talking through it. Uh, the longer I let the game go on, there's another clue. They have four cards in hand already. It's gonna be five plus a draw, or plus a clue. I... they're gonna have another creature, so it's probably better to save it, so that the Apostle's Blessing gets me through more stuff. So we're going to pass the turn. Let's see, they draw. <coughs> and I just signaled in really bright, shining lights. You know, look, I have Vines of Vastwood. If you know this deck, and you have the deck list, you know why I didn't attack there. Because they were tapped out. If I had any other pump spell... Okay. This is... This is... A, this is interesting. Um... Yeah, yeah, you got your trigger. Gee, I wonder what Scrid's targeting. Uh... <gasps> is it... No, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I had it right the first time. Targeting Seeker? Lulz. Kappa. This is an this is a good use of a kappa, I think. Alright. Uh okay, so vines are blessing. It, the glistener probably has to live. Uh, because even if I mortuary mire, it's gonna go on top of the deck and then I'll draw it the next turn. That is really slow. So we're we're going to I mean it's gonna die eventually. It, there's no way it's living too long. I think that it makes sense crap. Uh, I just gave away that I have Apostle's Blessing, so it's fine. Yeah, Pro Red, obviously, it's the only color there. It, one of the tiny downsides of doing this is that if I had used the vines here instead... Yup. Yeah, it's the, it's the color. If I had used the vines there instead, then had the Seeker attacked, I could have used, I could have blocked and used Apostle's Blessing. So that might very well have been a misplay. Alright, that's coming back to hand and then cast it right, oh you can't cast it right back, oh yeah you can, because you have Astrolabe. Yeah, so they had another snow permanent to make it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow. Alright, well they have another creature, so I wouldn't be surprised if they attack here. That is a 2-3. They could very well attack. Man, 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 oh man. Yeah, Scred is basically just destroy target creature at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, by my count that's 6. 6 damage for 1 mana. So glad it can only target creatures, but, you know, this may not be my best showing. Swing four. Probably take four. Probably better known as J taking four. Probably better known as J taking four damage here. Ooh, well, I mean, I mean, yes, yes, this is good. Alright, it's a 3-1, their obvious block is obvious, 
Um, assuming that there's not a scrat, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if there's not a scrat up here, or a bolt, or whatever, just anything, actual anything, um, Blessed perfection and all. Uh, we're going to go to combat. Three. Obvious block. I'm gonna do this a little bit early. Kick vines. It's going to be unfortunate if this... Oh yeah, yeah, okay, we're good, we got there. Four after trample, after tough, yep, after toughness. Yeah, that's that's four, bud. That's four. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus three. Hey, it's all good. And then I will pass the turn. All right. Now, uh. I could use another pump spell here. Like, oh, this Apostle's Blessing is great. It's synergize. Oh, jeez. Okay, clue. That's fine. That's not a luck trickery. That's fine. We can live with that. This is one reason why Rot Wolf would be really nice. There's an Inspector. Okay. I don't care. I kind of don't care. Um, end of turn, it could crack a clue for a card. That's fine. But I kind of don't care because Apostle's Blessing doesn't care. Man, if I could find another pump spell, we are in decent shape. Pretty decent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That looks like a trickery. Nope, it's not. Oh! <laughs> Life gain. Oh, hello. Crap, what was that? What did I do? Didn't mean to. Tried to type. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. We got there. We got there. All right. Pulse. Okay. What does Pulse do other than gain his life? Not a thing. It's just a life gain card. It stalls. Yeah, body is a body is a body, you know. It's just the game. Why you have to be so bad? <laughs> Why you have to? It's hef. Why you have to be so mad? Okay, what I could do, I'm not going to, but what I could do is if the Glistener Elf gets hit with something here, I can let it die and pulse it. Get it back. Gain the life. I don't think I really should do that, though. Uh, we're just going to... It's a what, a 1? A 2-1. Okay, cool. What's the 1-3 I keep thinking of? Oh, that's, that's the 1-3 that has prowess and just... That's it. <sighs> thinking? Ah, uh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. We're so close, folks. We are so close. I think I hear footsteps. Well, you'll have to be so mad. Let's see, if they kill the Glistener Elf, I think we're alright. We can pulse it, uh, gain life, cast it the next turn. We'll pulse it into turn, obviously. Um, if not, we can use it just to gain some life, honestly. That might actually be okay. Gain life gets me a turn, maybe two. Turn and a half against this deck. I mean, that's a two one. That actually reasonably could attack and probably will here, I would think. Oh, a bolt, okay. Yeah, I think this is this is the case we're talking about. We let the Glistener Elf die. Yeah, that's where that is. All right, yep, we got there. We got there. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to we're going to go for it.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see? Let's see, come on. Come on! Show me your moves. I think they just did, actually. I think they just did. They're flexing on us. Pulse. Gain it right back. Pulse. It's a weird, weird time walk. All right. Hey, and we got a forest, because that matters. Get it, get out of it, get out of here. I'm walking here. Is there a case to, no, there's not. But I'll say, is there a case for hold it for playing the Mortuary Mire, for not playing a land until they kill it, then play the Mortuary Mire? No, there's not, because they could just do it at the end of turn. Cool. And, uh, let's see. Pass turn. Bolt for a turn. <sighs> yeah, that, that Rancor is very clearly on top of the Glistener Elf. Or underneath it. Or everywhere. Or nowhere. I swear to God. Well, now we have to... Red. Taken two. Oh, no, we didn't have... Well, yeah, we did. Because if we play the Mortuary Mire, we're going to get Glistener Elf on top of our deck, which is too slow. Hmm. They're at four. So any... If they just go all in here, any pump spell from me will kill them. Which... So they're not going to. <laughs> I say any. Now that I've taken out Mutagenic... Any. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a seal. It's essentially a sorcery... Sp I mean, it's not sorcery speed. Kind of. Um, yes, we're going to combat. We're going to combat. We're going to hope they triple block. Please, for the love of all things good and holy... Even if you just double, oh, 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 okay, we got there. We got there, folks. Uh, shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, six for trample. Thinking. Um, so the order of priority here is, well, okay, they're all going to die. Actually, never mind, they all die. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not playing anything in response, then we're good. And it's just one. Take one. right back up there and uh, pass turn come on infinite glistener elves <laughs> depending on what they play if they don't apply pressure I might actually wait to cast the glistener elf until I have some oh geez so many lands all of the lands yeah I'm gonna wait to cast glistener elf here um, until I have a pump spell I think is that correct? Is that right? I mean, it, duh, duh, there's a glistener elf there. Wait a minute, if they had a removal spell, they would have used it there. And they didn't draw a removal spell, they drew a land. So actually, this is fine. Pass turn. 
Okay, that said, watch them top deck one, because of course. Nope, they top decked to land. Okay. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay. <sighs> wow. The flood is real. Um. Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, not there. Those are the next few. Not that it actually matters, because when you get to the crop rotation, I can go and get anything. So, it actually might have changed that. One more card I needed to see. Yeah, that is fair. Oh, that was, that was close. Wow. Good games, man. I'm going to say man. No, I'm not. I'm going to say Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> wow, good games, Buzz Lightyear. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. You too. I appreciate it. Wow, man. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's it. Take care, Magic Community. Uh, there's one. The, the one uh, tip I would have for Buzz, if you're watching it, or Buffer. Why did I keep saying Buzz? Buffer. Oh my goodness, I've been saying that the whole time. I may have said buffer correctly once, and then kept messing it up after that. My, my one tip is, when you have extra lands, you don't have to play lands. If you don't play a land for your turn, your opponent can likely think, unless you need that mana for something, your opponent can likely think they, have, they drew something other than a land. So in the all land hand like that, don't play your Windsguard Crag. Don't play your Ancient Den. Don't, don't do that. Leave them up in your hand. Um, Again, unless there's a very good reason for doing otherwise, like one of your outs in your deck happens to be like a six mana planeswalker, Nelspeth or something. Not the case in Popper, but you get the idea. You can draw you can play lands to play to your outs. But other than that, uh, no, um, just just hold them in your hand. Bluff. Bluff something. Especially against a deck like Infect, where where without something like a Taxium Probe or Peak, they're gonna assume that there's a sniper behind every tree, right? No, or they're just going to just gamble and go all in. Like, there, I think I kind of had to. But, often they won't. So, that's, that's it for me. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.